Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Monk, and today I'm coming at you with a Witch Hunter Jaren cosplay build. You know, the guy who looks eerily similar to Gale. For this build, it is pretty simple. We have a Fire Flamberg at plus 24 with the Flaming Strike Ash of War. And then in our left hand, we have the Carrion Glint Blade Staff at plus 24 as well. And the only spell that we will be using is the Magic Glint Blade spell. As for my stats and all of my talismans, those will be on screen now. Now let's get into these fights. Oh, and just by the way, this is my first ever video on my 125 character. I know, I know, I finally got it done. And I'm not even like fully, fully done with it, but I have everything I need to start making template builds. Depressed ring, hello. Oh, nice. There we go. Almost got him with the roll catch. Stop yelling at me, dude. Oh, damn. Good fight. That was an epic anime trade at the end there. Now I'm going to take this time just to kind of show some things off. Uh, the Flamberg, pretty much just a normal greatsword. It does do bleed. Only 55, though. With a cult affinity, it's actually super, super good. The weapon art that I'm using is Flaming Strike. Here it is. And you'll get the flame buff and the extra attack out of it if you do a heavy after the first part. So weapon art, heavy. And as for the spell that I'm using, it is just Magical Glint Blade. It's chargeable. Comes out pretty fast if you don't charge it. And also, while those are loading up, people can jump into those blue orbs and they'll actually take damage from it. So that's pretty cool too. Hello, Hunter's Moon. What is good? You better not be a woman. You could be a witch. And you really don't want to be a witch around me. Look at that. You don't, you don't really see uh, people use that sword that much. Okay. Landed the hit there. <laughs> you're not gonna get me with that. I know you're gonna try. Is that parrying dagger? <laughs> it really popped his tear, that's hilarious. Nice, tag him with that. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Good fight, Hunter's Moon. Not gonna lie though, great swords on their own, depending on what weapon art you have. You know, they're, they're old reliable, right? But they really do get outshined in this game somewhat. Like you can't go wrong with them, but at the same time, they kind of just feel like, you know, the master of none weapon class. Hello, Dobby. A great sword I do really like is the Claymore, though. Oh, what? Uh... What the- Oh, ha! Huh? Whoa! What? 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 Besides the fact that great swords kind of feel like the master of none to me, I do really like using them, because most of the time whenever I use them, I just get very solid, close fights. Hello, Storm Vanguard. Okay, this dude's a tanky boy. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, good poke. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's what the, uh, what parry is that? I can't remember. Oh, I almost got him with the trap. There we go. Nice. Good fight, Storm Vanguard. I do think this is a very, very good tool. You can definitely get some roll catches out of it. And the fact that it's chargeable. Just sick. Whoa. <laughs> what in the world? So I guess if you haven't been locked on to somebody. What? 
<laughs> Wait, what? Why was I getting that weird effect before? I don't even know what's going on. Hello, Tom. Ooh, you, you kind of have a cool little setup here. I like it. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> Come on, Tom, I believe. I believe in you. You can do it. Oh no, I'm out of magic. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Good fight, Tom. I love the weapon selection. That was funny. Hello, Sif. That is so sick. I have seen no one use that spell before. Oh my. Let's go. <laughs> good fight, Sif. Very, very good fight. Now, your build was tough to go up against, honestly. But I mean, damn, this flaming strike, if you hit it, that was some fat, fat damage. I love it. I am having kind of a hard time though, you know, obviously against like boys monsters and like colossal users just because of spacing and stuff. But I am seeing that the clear disadvantage that you have is literally just having one great sword. But I probably should have used honestly a bit more solid of a build though than uh, than this for my first 125 PVP experience. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good fight, Pokar. Hello, Ashen One. Damn it. <laughs> I will chip you down with the last one. <laughs> Good fight, action one. Can we, can we just talk about the, the little wooden doink from me hitting his scythe? <laughs> I had never heard that before. Hello, XD. Alright, no buff for you. Good fight. Flame on, Jesus. Hey. Yeah, you got a magma blade. I'm sure some magma spells. Probably like catch flame or something like that. Ooh, okay. Good, nice. That was good. Oh, no. Wait, what the? Oh, my gosh. Wait, oh man, my roll didn't come out. If I did not have that healing tier, I was actually toast. All right, yeah, let's, uh, some magic. Nice. <laughs> let's see how many we can get out at once. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hello. <laughs> also, good fight, Jesus. I, I really like your build. All right, who's someone that we haven't fought? Prisoner. Looks like that they had on the Jaren headpiece. Little do they know. They're going up against the Witch Hunter himself. Hello, Prisoner. Ooh, Scavenger's Curve Swords. I'm in danger. <laughs> oh. Just a slight vigor check for you, Prisoner. I would go level that up. 
I actually am having fun with this build. You can hit some pretty gnarly combos and some, you know, kind of do some fun stuff. There's also a little bit of meme ability with it. You know, the, the eccentric armor, while drippy, also a bit uh, meme-like. Okay, but now I am starting to kind of get a rating in mind, so let's just find our final opponent. Alrighty, Ruins Greatsword. Oh yeah, dude, this is what I like to see. All right, let's go. Okay, not the best trade. I don't think that they have the healing tier though, which is good, so. Oh wait, I thought I rolled through that. Oh no. <laughs> Simultaneous flask drink. What in the world? Whoa. Okay. Oh, what an epic final fight. That was sweet. Very, very good fight. Okay, fun scale time. And if I had to give this build a rating, I think it's deserving of a 7.5. This build, I would say, is middle of the pack. It's a good base for a build. The Flambird is solid. It's a great sword, and great swords are always reliable. They're not the best class of weapons, though. They do kind of get outshined in some areas. And personally, like I said, I think that the Flamberg is better with an Arcane build. But for what I was using, it, it gets the job done. And the Weapon Art Flaming Strike does fat damage. Definitely a very, very solid weapon art. No complaints there. Make sure to use it more defensively, though. I had to learn that the hard way. As for the staff and the spell, the staff just boosts Glint Blade Sorcery and the magic glint blade is a pretty good pressure tool you can send out a couple of them charge up a couple not charge the others they come out at different speeds do different damage kind of mess with your opponent a little bit keep them on their toes this armor is insanely drippy absolutely love it one of my favorite looking in the game as for how good the armor actually is it's you know not great but drip is really what counts let's be real but those are pretty much my thoughts and I would love to hear yours. If you have any thoughts on this build, recommendations, anything, make sure to leave it down in the comments. If you wanna know the next time that I drop a new video, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe out there and I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, and I'm watching you, Jacob.